Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to do an exercise called Chunky Monkey. We want to write a function that splits an array, uh, the first argument, into groups the length of size, which is the second argument, and returns them as a two-dimensional array. Um, so yeah, let's look at the tests here. A, B, C, D, and then we want to do it two. So we want to split this into two. If it's three, we want to return an, uh, a, a collection of arrays with three elements in them. Um, if it's two here, we've, we're breaking them into two elements. Um, here we're doing it into four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So four and then five, six. You'll notice that the first one has four, but the second one has two because there's six. So we d deal with the uh, leftovers like that. And so, yeah, um, let's first off console log here. Um, a, B, C, D. So we're just returning the array, which is ridiculous. Um, so what we want to do is find a way to, with each L time that we go by two, we put that into a result. So first off, let's set, let's let result equal an empty array, and then we'll return the result. And then we want to say, at the end of the day, this one's going to be A, B, one, two. Four, four. Hmm. Okay, so four, we're going to let i equal zero. i is less than the array.length. So we're just going to iterate through the array. And i plus equals one. So we're going to do it one at a time. Well, uh, okay, so the size is two. So we can, make, we can have i increment by the size of two. So i is initially zero. And then we'll take the result and we're going to push the array dot slice where we go i and then i plus size. Okay, so what are we doing here? Um, instead of incrementing by one, oh, and we want to go size like there. We don't want to do two. So instead of incrementing by one, we're incrementing by however many there are here. So i starts off at zero, and while i is less than the length of it, then we want to say i is plus equal to the size. So we're going to add two. So zero plus two is zero plus one plus two. So zero, it goes from zero to two. And then, well, for the, our initial one, our size is equal to two, and then our i is equal to uh, zero. So we add to the result array. A, an array, an ar array dot slice, which is the segment of that. So that's position zero and position one. And then we push that onto there. And then i becomes equal to two. And so then we have two, and then um, i plus two is equal to four. So we've got two to four. And then we push that onto there. So what happens when we have a, a, a bigger one like this? Let's see if this still works. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8. And then so, yeah, on our last one, I, for the first one, I is equal to um, 0. On the second element, I is increments by 4, so then it's 4. So then we push on all the elements from 4, which is this guy, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 4 plus 4 is 8, so to, to this position. And then finally, on our last one, i is equal to um, 4, 8, 8. And then we say we want to we want to slice, we want to take all of the elements from position 8 until um, 12, which ends up just being 8 because this is the last one, and we push that on. And then at that point, um, i becomes greater than 4. Uh, because it's at 8, and, th and then therefore we exit the loop and we return the result. And if we run the test, that passes. Cool, that's it for inner, uh, algorithm scripting, for uh, basic data, al basic algorithm scripting. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.